This is my new friend Stella. Stella is here camping with us in Belmont. Would you like to tell us, you have a YouTube channel, Stella? Yes, oh. it's called Stella's RV Adventures. Okay, so if anybody wants to find her, all they have to do is type in the search, Stella's RV Adventures. So we're going to uh, talk a few minutes. Stella, how, how long have you been living on the road? You're full-time, right? Yeah, I started out in August of 2018, okay. so it's been about two years. Two years. Where did you come from? Uh, Maine. Maine. Wow. Yeah. Way yeah. back east. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. How long were you, you were there? Oh, that's a twisted question. <laughs> but I was, uh, before I came out here, I was there for about 15 years. What made you come out west? I actually was out west before. I lived in California. Okay. So uh, okay. when I was 18, I went to California for 15 years. Then I went back, got married, got divorced, sold my house, and okay. said, here I go. I'm going to go out. All right. I'm going to do this. Do you like this full-time life? I love it. Is it hard? Nothing at all. Really? Nothing at all hard about it. I find there's times when it's hard, but, you know, so is living in a house. Yeah. Okay, let's so, Stella, have you always had the little Jayco RV? No, I actually started out my van in 2018, in August. And this and is I, the van, right? Yeah, yeah. What is it, Ram 250? Dodge Ram 250. Okay. So, how long do you, do you stay in the van? I would say between nine months and a year. And you literally lived in it, correct? I did. So, how did you, did you have solar or something on this? Uh, I didn't have solar, but I put a fantastic fan in. Okay. And then I also have a 400-watt uh, inverter. Okay, so you had power enough to survive. Enough, yeah. Okay. And you did you build it on the inside? Did I build? Like a bed and cabinets and oh, all yes. that? Would you like to see it? Well, yeah, let's do it real fast on that. So this is the back of your van. That yeah. was your bed. Yeah, this was the bed that I was uh, that I slept on for nine months or so. Did you build that yourself, Stella? No, I had somebody help me. Did you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you had a lot of storage underneath, I see. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the rest of it real quick. So you're still set up in here, really? You yeah, have mostly for storage. This is a storage ice chest. This I um, put like, you know, canned goods okay. and different things in there. All kinds of supplies. Of you room. have a lot of storage drawers over there. Yeah. Yep. Wow, I love it. Very nice van. Thank you. Okay, let's go look at your RV you got last year. So, Stella, I see your little dog. What's the dog's name? This is Rudy. Rudy. Rudy's friendly. Say hi, Rudy. Hi, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is your little, it's a, what is it? Jayco? A Jayco J-Flight. J-Flight. How big is that? 14 feet. 14 feet. Wow, that's nice. And I see you have a TV antenna. Yeah. And you have a couple batteries for power. Yeah, and I actually have <laughs> so how much solar do you have? I have 300 watts of solar on the top. On the roof. Yeah. Okay. And it, did he do that for you too? Partially. Okay. Partially. So and then he see. bought me the, uh, I have a 2000 watt uh, pure sign wave inverter. Okay, let me, let's walk it around. And, uh, this is the back side. It's SL6 Jade Light. And you can actually hook up to, uh, in an RV park, you have all the hookups? Yeah, I do. So how does it pull on the van? Does it do pretty good? Well, unfortunately, I have a six-cylinder in that van, so it doesn't do hills well. Okay. But other than that, it does pretty good. All right. Well, the sun's pretty bright right now, so it's probably not getting a really good picture, but 
I said, just wanted to show everybody what you have. This is a really cute RV trailer. And you could pull a little something behind it if you had a strong enough car but or truck. Very nice. WorldwideRV.com. That's where you got it? Yeah. Where at? Where did you buy it? Quartzsite. In Quartzsite. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm this is going to, we're going to do a tour of the inside of Stella's RV. And I will start with her opening. Is What is this here? Is this a storage closet? This is a closet. Okay. You want to take pictures? Let me come inside. Okay. Maybe I can get a better picture of it. Let me move through here. Okay, let's go ahead and open the door. And... Oh, wow, that's a big closet. Yep, and I roll my clothes. <laughs> a lot of storage, that's good. Okay, and then you have another door here. Yep. And let's look at this. And this let's is turn the bathroom. The tea. Hang on. Oh, sorry. Bath. This yep. is your bathroom. Yep. Wow. You have a good, good toilet. Mm -hmm. A little mirror on the wall. Oh, you have a full bath. Yes, I, I do a shower. How ah, nice. And uh, what is that? Uh, light, uh, what did they call that? The, the sunlight. Yeah. Uh, up above. That's really nice. Very nice. Very roomy bathroom. So that's wonderful. So this is your other dog. What is his Her name? name? Sophie. Oh, that's Sophie down there. Oh, that's really okay. All right. Hi, Sophie. Hello. Okay, so, wow, you have a nice couch. Is there storage underneath the yep, couch? Yeah, there's storage under here, which you can access from the outside, too. Okay, and, uh, no. yeah, okay. Nope. Just the way it was setting, I thought maybe yeah. it could. You have well, a lot of storage cabinets. Look at this. That's where oh, my food goes. That's wonderful. Look at all the room you have. Wonderful. Wow, Stella. And you have several windows in here, which is really nice in a smaller RV. Sometimes they don't have a whole lot of lighting. Yeah. So uh, you have a twin-size bed, but you have a lot of storage area behind that. Yeah, so the table's underneath. Okay. So the bed never gets moved. Okay. Which I don't really need because I have a little small table right. inside. Sure. So you just decided to use that. Besides, yeah. most people don't use a table mm -hmm. in the RV anyhow. Yeah, and I have the, the small bed versus the queen right. so that I have a little bit of storage right. back here also. Kind of like a nightstand. Yeah. Yeah, a big nightstand. So yeah. you have more storage above. Yeah. Okay. Which is wonderful. Yeah. And there's your power center. My appliances and my... Um, wonderful. You don't have judges. stuff all crammed up in, in there. Most people, you can't <laughs> even see the cabinet for the stuff they have. This is really nice. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, and you have an air conditioner in here. I do. Wow. Right here. Okay. So, you run that off of solar? No. Okay. Do you no, have a generator? No generator. I just have the... Uh, if you're plugged in somewhere. If you, if you go down here, you can see the pure sign... Um, yes. Inverter. Yes. Okay. And then I have this plug over here that I attach to the wall. Okay. And that's how I charge. See that white? But for the air conditioner? No, just, you know. Like, for everything else. Like my okay. food processor and right. my Vitamix. And right, okay. My and TV. more cabinet. I've never seen so many cabinets yep. in a little RV. <laughs> really? It's my spices. That's wonderful. And nice. it's deep enough for everything. That's nice. Yep. And you have a microwave. Yep. Wow. With a hood on your stove. Wonderful. <laughs> and look at your sink. How nice. Yep. Good size counter space for this size RV too. I yep. keep saying this size. <laughs> this well, is pretty big small. compared to mine. <laughs> <laughs> but fourteen okay. feet really isn't that big. <laughs> I know, I know, but still, it's 
14 feet of living space, so you yep. have a refrigerator. We're happy. You want to show us the refrigerator? Does it have a freezer? It does. Wow, a good-sized freezer. Very nice. Really nice. And shelves on the door. Yep. This is a nice refrigerator. <laughs> and this a uh, furnace. Yep, heater, yep. And that runs on propane? Propane, yes. And the refrigerator is two or three way? Pro well, DC, AC, and uh, yeah, propane. When, when I hook up, I can right, okay. go to electric. <laughs> right. Okay, and you have two burners on the stove. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, that's really nice. I like the floor, <laughs> too. That's a nice floor. Really nice. Wow, Stella, you have a very nice home. Thank I'm you. so glad I got to meet you and take a look <coughs> at your place. Sometimes people want to show their places <coughs> to other yeah, people. Sometimes mind. they don't, <coughs> you know, so I'm glad you would wanted to do that. And I hope everybody will check your channel out. It's Stella's RV Adventures, <coughs> people. Please go check her out. And uh, so <coughs> let me ask you a few questions, I think. So, why did you start your YouTube channel? Well, uh, it started out, I was watching Bob's uh, videos from, Bob Wells' videos right. from Cheap home RV. while I was waiting to go on the road. Yes. And, you know, as I was watching and, and experiencing this life, I thought, you know, I want to help people too. Right. So I thought I, I, you know, I would share my experience. Show <laughs> that it's possible. Yeah, and then even as, especially as a single woman, you do it. You do it. We're doing you, it. You don't have any fear? I don't, if I did, it was minimal and I just don't remember. And it's gone. <laughs> it just, yeah. I just do it. Oh, I guess I have fear of, you know, when I go to my next place. Right. Will I be able to find a spot or something like that? But I just right. do it. I just That's do it. That's what I do. Is sometimes yeah. I'm just uncomfortable <laughs> finding the next spot. But, and you don't uh, travel with a caravan. Is that correct? Not really. Sometimes I hook up. I do hook up with them. But okay. um, when I do, a lot of times I'll, I like to stay back a little uh, bit. I don't like to be right there. Right. And um, yeah, you like your little bit of privacy. A little bit, yeah. Of course, yes. Yeah, and there's always, I got to tell you, there's always people to help you when things happen. You know, that's yeah. what, one of the greatest things that's of true. this community. Yeah. yeah. So what kind of videos do you put out? What kinds of content do you share? But I mostly... saw one about your little washing machine. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I watched a few of your... <laughs> So you're still working on doing videos, is that correct? Yeah, I'm you're... just really getting started, yeah. but um, and I'm just starting to learn how to edit. Right. Um, but um, I'm doing it slowly but surely. Well, just keep putting out the videos. People will be very interested in your life, how you live this way, and all the details. So don't be afraid to put it out there, Stella. Believe yeah. it or not, there's always somebody that will find everything we do. Imagine people are interested in my story, so I know yeah. they'll be interested in yours. And uh, I'm glad that you have your little dogs for company. And yeah, they're entertaining, that's for sure. I'll bet. So sometimes they're work. And, you know, <laughs> especially you have to go places, it's hard to figure out whether you want to leave them out behind or what. Yeah, so that's hard. Yeah. Okay, so you you have fans or something when you're not running the air conditioner or just yeah, open see, windows? Yeah, I have one right back here, actually. I want to see it. Is that a USB it's fan? It's USB, and it works yes. perfectly. I just turn right. it up, and I hook it into my little... My uh, little white extension Plugged over there. moves if I need to, if I can't have a cord that reaches. That's perfect. It will, it will reach over. So do you find that have, having enough room for everything is hard for you? Yeah, it's a little challenging. It's a little of course, you do have the van, so you yeah. still have some storage with that. Yeah. So that's yeah. good. I think the hardest part is when I'm going from electricity when I'm at a mm -hmm. campground right. to go and boondock. And so I have appliances for everything. Like right. I have a coffee maker that's electric uh -huh. to a French press and a 
pour yeah. over and then I have the fan and right. then when I don't have the fan I have the electricity. Right. I have the AC, you know, so yeah. 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 I'm all set. Right. I'm you all are. Set. Do you prefer yeah. boondocking or staying yeah. in parks? I prefer boondocking. It's because, definitely cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper, but it's way, you know, I feel like I have my own land, you know, and when you I'm have more freedom. Yes. Yeah, it's like my own yard. You're not so. spoondocking. <laughs> <laughs> Stella, yeah. thank you for the interview. Thank you for sharing your story a little bit with us. I know we'll hear more from you in your videos. Thank you again for taking your time to share this with us. You're welcome.